welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new what i eat in a day on slim and world video that is a real mouthful isn't it <laughs> anyway today i'm doing a collaboration on this video with a lovely lady who i met on youtube called stacy peverbridge so stacy is also from the uk she also does slim and world i think she started slim and world a couple weeks before i did she's a mummy to three girls so she has got her hands full <laughs> And um, yeah, she's just a lovely lady. She does lots of different types of videos. Let me, I got a new iPhone and I'm still learning the ropes a bit. So she recently did a, um, I tried Chloe Ting summer shred video. That was really good. She does videos like um, grocery hauls, um, home bargain hauls, weight loss journeys, starting slim and world, normal day to day life pre mark hauls, all stuff like that. So basically all similar stuff to what I do. So if you would like to pop over and show Stacey's video some love, that would be great. One of the great things I've been loving um, starting my Slim and World journey is watching these videos because sometimes I sit at home and I think, oh my God, what am I gonna have for dinner? What am I gonna have for lunch? What snack can I have today? And I always jump on YouTube and type in the search bar what I eat in a day on Slim and World and I just sit there and end up watching loads of videos but I think you get so much inspiration from watching these different videos because obviously we're all individuals we all eat different types of food we all like different types of food and all of the videos I mean you can get some of the same meals and stuff obviously but a lot of the videos I get like different ideas from so um yeah it's really good so if you want to pop over and watch Stacey's video and show her some love tell her I said hello and that I sent you over and if you are here from Stacey's video hello it's really nice to meet you my name is Katie I am from the southwest of England um I live in Somerset I don't know if you can tell by the accent but yeah I have two children I have Parker Gray who is five and I have Danny Gray who is now 21 months so yeah i do lots of type lots of different types of videos just like stacy does i do like hauls weight loss weight loss videos day in my life videos all stuff like that so yeah i hope you enjoy today's video if you do and you would like to stick around there's a little red subscribe button down there um it's com completely free to subscribe you don't have to there's no obligation but i would love to have you join my little family but anyway that's enough um, waffling on. I'm going to crack on with today's video and I'm going to crack on with breakfast. So, for breakfast, I normally always have the same thing. I have gotten to a rhythm of having this for breakfast and I love it. It fills me up, it's yummy. I just blimmin' love it. So anyway, because I like to save my healthy extra B for, um, for lunch or dinner, I always send my breakfast because I love to have some bran flakes. So what I do is I weigh out 20 grams of bran flakes. Because for 20 grams, you actually get quite a lot. There we go. So that 20 grams there is two cents. I will put all the sin sins and everything on the um, screen. Don't worry about that. But yeah, that's um, two sins of bran flakes there. And then what I do is I mix up some quark. Quark! And I mix that in with some of my skinny food flavoured drops. So I've got vanilla cheesecake. Or oh, I've got, that's just plain vanilla. And I've also got cookie dough. I love this one. Look, it's nearly gone gutted if you haven't tried this skinny food range i really like it some of the flavors are a bit weird but some of them are really good like the honey barbecue i find a bit odd but the ranch dressing i love you can tell i've used loads of it i have that on salad and the sweet chili i also love i love to put a little bit of that on my salad so yeah i really love those two but i'm not too keen on the honey barbecue um the red velvet the white chocolate and the birthday cake i like to squirt a little bit of that if i have something sweet so say i have um say i have um like similar pancakes or something like that I like to squirt a little bit on there and it just makes it that that bit more yummier but the drops 
I'm absolutely in love with the drops. I couldn't love them anymore. Oh, I also picked up the other day this um, Chocoholic Duo Spread. This is insane. So what I do with this, it's um, <clears throat> per five grams, it's 25 cal. So what's five grams? It's around about a teaspoon, isn't it? So anyway, what I do is I put a little teaspoon of this in a ceramic bowl. I pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds, let it melt, and then I drizzle it on my pancakes. Oh, it's delicious. So yeah, anyway, if you wanna do, if you wanna have a look at the skinny syrup, I have actually got a link. I will pop it down in the, um, in the box below. You know what box I'm talking about, don't you? I'll pop it in the box. Anyway, let me get on with breakfast. <laughs> so here's my quark and I've mixed some of the vanilla cheesecake skinny drops in with this. Honestly, if you're not keen on the flavour of quark, this really, really helps to sweeten it up and it just tastes blooming yummy. So I just mix it up and then I just pop it in with my brown flakes. I'm actually um, popping out somewhere today and I'm running out of time. So I've decided just take my breakfast with me so I'm going to pop it in this bowl and then on top of this I like to have a load of raspberries sometimes I have strawberries as well but to be honest I'm running out of time and I can't bother to cut them up then <laughs> oh, Parker Gray yeah, you, just, you. you just scared me really bad <laughs> you little bugger <laughs> Nearly ready for school, bud? No ma. No ma. All right. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> right. And then I just sprinkle a little bit of sweetener on top of the raspberries. Yeah. And there. No, it's not disgusting. It's so yummy. It's very disgusting. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's my breakfast. So it's a really breakfast just to have. Like if you're in a rush today, like me, you can just pop the lid on here. You can take it with you. If you fancy it for a dinner, if you're going out on a picnic or something like that, just pop it in your bag and done. On plan breakfast. Awesome. So I've got to go and get Parker ready for school. I'm running late. I need to do a lunchbox for the baby girl. So I will see you at lunchtime. Hello again guys, so it is dinner time and I really fancy something really filling and stodgy. You know when you've just had one of those days when you've been busy and you're just starving. I am literally just starving. So I thought I would throw myself together a little pasta meal. I love pasta. Um, Whenever I cook pasta, I always make sure I do some more and I put a couple of these in the fridge so that it's all already all made up. So, in here, I've got some chopped up cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms and some onion. I've added in a little bit of pizzata and a little bit of garlic just because I'm in one of those moods for lots of yummy flavours. I've also put some boiled eggs onto boil and I'm going to chop a couple boiled eggs in there. And then I've got my um, Healthy A allowance of 40 grams of lighter, mature, grated cheese. So yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> it's like a very stodgy filling dinner. I mean, the weather is awful today. It is pouring down the rain. And I'm just in one of those moods for stodge. And yeah, I just need it. I've also got this Bramwell's Lighter Than Light Mayonnaise. So this one is from Aldi. And I believe it's half a sin for one tablespoon. So I'm going to have two tablespoons of that. Yeah, just going to cook it all through, mix it all together. I'm going to pop the pasta in the pan actually to just warm that up a little bit. It's been in the fridge for a couple of days now. I want a really warm, nice, yummy, stodgy dinner. And this, I think, is definitely gonna help with what I need. Oh God, that looks gorgeous already. Because I put in the passata and the garlic, I don't think I'm actually gonna need the mayo. It looks kind of saucy and yummy enough, but 
I think I'm going to put it in anyway because I'm in one of those moods where I just need food. I need all the food. I need all the food I can get. So yeah, my Instagram is currently going crazy. I added a picture last night of what I had for my um my like treat. Like every night, if I've got sins left, I have kind of a, a treat meal. So yeah, if anyone wants to follow me over on Instagram, I will pop it up on the screen now. But it's Katie's Weight Loss Journey underscore. So yeah, I'll pop it up on the screen anyway, and I'll put a link in down below. So in with these eggs, I've got a little egg timer in there because I like my eggs to be boiled, but I like them to be quite soft, not runny, but like not hard boiled. So I've got a little egg timer. To be honest, I'm struggling to see it. So let's have a look. Woohoo! And see what it says. Oh, the wrong way. How about that? That's just great, isn't it? So at the moment, it's just kind of on soft. I'm just gonna let it cook for a couple more minutes because I made the mistake, whoa! <laughs> I made the mistake last week of taking the eggs out just when it went on soft. And I was trying to peel them and they were so soft, they were runny and I could not peel them and they basically had to go in the bin. So yeah, I don't wanna do that again. I really want eggs in my pasta today. But they really don't take long couple more minutes um, when I do boiled eggs I always cook up a big portion because I love to have eggs just in my fridge to like snack on if I'm feeling munchy throughout the day and I just want something quick I literally head to the fridge and get an egg so yeah anyway I'm gonna sort these eggs out I'm gonna plate everything up and I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like so guys, there it is, today's lunch. Oh my God, I'm so looking forward to this. I never ever usually have anything this big for lunch, but I'm just in one of those moods where I just need the food. I'm feeling a bit run down, it's a crappy day, and I just need food. So yeah, anyway, um, it looks like a really, really big plate. I mean, it is quite a big plate, but obviously there wasn't that much pasta there. It's mostly, the onions, mushrooms, and um, tomatoes. Whilst it was still on the hob, I mixed in the cheese and the mayo, so it's all kind of all mixed in together. Um, I've just gone with one egg. Because the eggs are still really, really hot, I really find them hard to peel. If anyone's got an easy way to peel eggs, please let me know. I eat eggs so often, and I hate peeling them. It's a nightmare. But anyway, I'm just going to get a little picture of this for me Instagram. Let's move it over slightly. I like to just get a white background. There we go. That looks good. Right. All done. I'm going to go and enjoy my dinner. And I will see you at tea time. For tea today, I'm going to do something that I've never done before and I don't know how to do it. So, I just need... God, this cupboard's a mess. Every time I open it, everything falls down on me. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do a Mayflower curry. I've never done one of these before, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. So I have got a rice cooker because I honestly cannot cook rice at all. <laughs> For it is such a miserable day today. Look, the heavens have opened. It's pouring down with rain and it is miserable. What's up my baby girl? Right, so the rice is in the slow cooker. That should take about 20 minutes. Right, just switched it on to cook. That's all in and ready. Hello. Hello, ladybug. Oh. oh, that's all right. That's not on. Right, so. What's the matter? Do you want a lolly? Do you want mummy to put TV on for you? Yeah. Do you want TV and lolly? Danny's not eating very well at the moment because she's got her big teeth coming through at the back, so she's eating a lot of lollies. But 
I don't mind that at all, but so. Show. So I've got chicken, I've got mushrooms. So I've read the instructions on the Mayflower curry box and it says for two to three people whisk 85 grams of curry sauce mix. So I've got 85 grams here and it says to mix that into 12 fluid ounces of cold water. So I'm going to pop that in the cold water. Now I haven't got a whisk, <laughs> so I'm going to use a fork. So we need to whisk that all up. And then what does it say? Then it says to pop it in the microwave on full power for five minutes, but you need to stir it well after every minute. Stir, stir, stir. So, what I'm going to do is just pop it in for a minute at a time. And yeah, then I'm going to give it a good stir. So I've got the chicken cooking in the pan. And I've got a bowl of mushrooms, onions and cherry tomatoes. I did want to put peas in with it as well, but I don't have any frozen peas. And we have leftover tomatoes that need using. So I'm going to pop that in. got the rice in the slow cooker cooking and yeah hopefully it turns out good I absolutely love a good curry and apparently this Mayflower curry is really nice and it tastes kind of like a Chinese curry apparently so yeah anyway I'm gonna get on with cooking and whisking and I will be back to show you what it looks like so there it is, today's tea already in serve. So you've got Mayflower curry with peas, onion, mushrooms, tomatoes and rice. Haven't tasted it yet, so I don't know what it tastes like, but I will definitely let you know. Yeah, I'll get back to you after tea and let you know the verdict. So... That was very yummy. I won't lie and say it was the best curry I've ever had because it wasn't. Um, I much prefer to tuck into a yummy, yummy chicken korma, but obviously a chicken korma would, I should imagine, be very, very high in sins. But yeah, I did like it. It was yummy. I think next time I do it, I might get um, a tin of pineapple to put in it. I love pineapple. And... Um, even though I got the medium, I find it a little bit spicy. It wasn't too spicy, it was a little bit spicy, but my sister said that she gets the hot and it is quite hot. So I don't know if they do like a mild. Don't know, I might have to look at that, but I did enjoy it and I will do it again. I love a curry, but yeah, I would prefer a really yummy korma. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm just put the kettle on. I'm just gonna make myself a cup of my favorite yummy um, multi-biscuit Yorkshire tea. These are incredible. If you like, biscuits dunked in a cup of tea you need to get yourself some of these it is gorgeous i have some of this a little bit of milk and a couple of sweeteners so yeah um just tidied up from tea i'm gonna sit down now have that then i'm gonna put the baby to bed and then i will come back and see you a bit later on because mummy always has to have a snack from her sim box at night time so yeah, I think tonight I might have, oh, oh God, all oh, my cupboards need sorting out. This place is just running low in storage. I think tonight I might have an options white chocolate, yum yum. And yeah, I'm gonna have something out of my sin box because I haven't actually used my healthy extra B yet today, so yeah. I'll see you a bit later. Hey guys, I am back. I have to be quiet because everybody else is asleep in bed. But um, it's time to have my evening snack and I fancy a cake. So, I've been having a look around online and a couple people have been doing this um, low 
Sin mug cake. So I'm going to give it a go. So basically you need one whisked egg, which I've got in here. And I'm going to pop that on my scale. I don't know why I'm popping it on my scale because I've got a measuring spoon. <laughs> so I'm going to take it off of my scale. Right, and it says, it says here I need one egg, one tablespoon of cocoa powder and three tablespoons of sweetener. So I have got options Belgian chocolate mint and I'm going to use this because it is yummy. So I'm going to put in one tablespoon of that. And then three tablespoons of sweetener. That's a lot of sweetener, isn't it? One. Two. Three. Now, I'm not going to sin the sweetener because it is the stevia and it's made from the natural stevia leaf. And apparently, if you get this one, you don't have to sin it. Well, that's what a lot of people say. So, anyway, I'm not going to sin it. And then it says... And then what does it say? Whisk until it's all combined. And then it says you literally pop it in the microwave for one minute. And voila, you get a cake. So I'm just going, oh my God, that smells amazing. I'm just going to make sure this is all whisked up properly. And then, I'm going to see what we get. So apparently that goes in the mic now for one minute. Don't know what it's going to look like. Don't know how it's going to turn out. But I'm excited. So, probably hear a loud bang in a minute. The microwave's going to explode in it. Let's um, pop these away. So, so I only had a tablespoon of the cocoa powder, so that shouldn't work out as much. Should be about two sins. Um, just thinking, what should I, I think? I'm gonna have some squirty cream. So I've got some light real doily cream so i'm gonna have some of that <gasps> wow i mean definitely smells good oh wow okay don't know how it tastes but it smells good so I'm going to weigh out my cream because I don't want to um, over eat, you know what I mean? So, light, real, God, that cake smells good, dairy, cream. <laughs> So I can have 12.5 grams for one sin. So. Well, it's a bit more than I wanted. That's 17, but we'll go with it. And then what I think I'm going to do, I've got some raspberries left over. I'm going to chuck those on. And voila, cake, cream, and berries. So, yeah, looks all right. Don't know how it tastes. Let's do a bit of a taste test. Surely that's just going to taste of egg, right? Mm. Oh, I like it. 
Mm. Honestly, I love it. I love that. This is going to be gone before I go and sit down. Mm. That is so good. That is really, really good. It's really good. I love that. Um, it's definitely kind of more tougher than a cake. It's definitely got a different texture than a cake texture. But I don't know if it's because I've made it with the mint options. But oh god, it tastes good. Mm. I think that's going to be my new nighttime treat. I think if you didn't have as much sweetener and stuff in it, it probably wouldn't be so good. But because it's the mint one and there's lots of sweetener, it tastes so freaking nice. I've like, I've eaten half of it already. <laughs> so yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Anyway, I'm going to go and sit in the lounge for a bit and watch a couple YouTube videos. I'm also going to have a cup of my Yorkshire multi tea, which I am absolutely in love with. And yeah, that's it for tonight. And that's it for today. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and you would like to see more from me, I obviously do lots of different videos. I do obviously my Slim and World Day in the Life videos. I do hauls, um, come shop with me, family days out, lots of different things really, and lots of stuff kind of around the kids. But yeah, if you were, if you are new here and you're from Stacey's channel or you're from the big wide world <laughs> and you would like to follow me, just remember to click on the red subscribe button. And yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just stood here like, yeah. Anyway, it's 22 minutes past nine at night. I'm going to go and sit and enjoy the rest of my cake and my cup of tea in peace and um, watch some YouTube videos and just enjoy the peace and quiet really. Anyway, I'm really waffling on now, aren't I? I don't know what I'm going on about and I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know. <laughs> anyway, see you soon, bye.